In the last video, I have told you in about the stage where everything occurs and every single detail you would need to know. And today you will start your first game, which is called Cat and Mouse. The first thing you do is go to change the name of the project to Cat and Mouse. Like this, it will show up here what your name of the project would look like. Remember I say that every single project would be most likely use a repeat loop? Well, yes, today we will use a repeat until loop from the control menu. The repeat until will repeat until a condition occurs. Condition is usually from the operators or the sensing. Repeat until touching the mouse pointer. Here we have a scroll, mouse pointer or edge. Choose mouse pointer for starting. Next is we will take move 10 steps, point towards mouse pointer, and then next costume. This will make it move directly towards the mouse pointer until it touches it. Then when it, it does touch, let it say something. For example, not you. There. For two seconds, that is already a good start. Now, to test your scope, click on it. It would work like this if it works. There, it will say got you for two seconds and the project stops. The conditional, the condition control blocks is something that has a hexagon over here. If, then, if, else, wait until and repeat until needs conditions and from the condition we would take it from touching mouse pointer or the sensing the operators anywhere else is you would likely not find a condition block so yeah if your project work it should go like this now for it works when we click the flag go to the event the first block you find is when green flag is clicked this means that if we click the flag it will start the program now to make your game a lot funnier and more interesting let the cap start at zero zero which is at the middle Later, I will explain about the grid. While you're running, click on the red button to stop it, even though it doesn't touch the mouse pointer. Next, you would need some scores. Now here is where the complicated part starts. Variable for some person is hard. But now we will just make it simple for you, like score. You could name your variable anything you like, score, high score, or even a name like Fred. First, you want your score to be zero, so set the score to zero. And then, if the mouse pointer, you are not touching the cat, and then change the score by one. The goal is, you will not try not to touch the cat with your mouse pointer here and then the score is 18 for example so that is actually all of them but if you would like to do more of something just go to sprite for easier to look at the sprite change its name 
Go to the library. Choose animal. Find the mouse. Here, choose mouse one. And now the code for this would be when click it, repeat until touching. We go to sensing, touching the cat. <coughs> we'll point towards the mouse pointer and then move 25 steps. Actually, you can use any steps you like. But when the beginning, we would get it moved far away from the cat. Maybe 240 and 180. That would be up here, right in the corner. Now to test it, click on the green flag. Also change touching mouse pointer to touching mouse 1. It would be a little bit tricky. So instead of move 25 steps, We'll point towards mouse pointer and go to mouse pointer. And yes, the game still starts out not very well. We need the distance for the cat to go slower. And then start at over here. Which that would be negative 100, 240 and negative 180. See? And yeah, you will have some tricks and tweaks and you think that you would like it. Okay. For me, this is good. And I have 124 score, which is a decent start. <laughs> so that's it for today. And next, I will show you about the grid. So later on about the next episode, you will know about the grid and easier about X and Y position. So that's all for today. See you in next episode.